What if you could build systems that not only understand the world, but also solve problems on their own? That's what generative AI engineering is all about, creating technology that goes beyond responding to commands and starts making its own decisions. Hey everyone, welcome to the Generative AI Engineering Roadmap for 2026. In the world of technology, things are moving fast and Generative AI is at the forefront of that change. From creating art and writing to developing tools that can handle the real world tasks. Gen AI engineers are the ones shaping the future. But how do you go from someone curious about AI to someone who's actually building these systems? That's exactly what we'll dive into today. In this video, we'll cover Firstly, the Gen AI Engineer Roadmap for 2026. We'll walk through the skills, projects, and trends that you need to know in order to become a Generative AI Engineer. We'll then cover what is Generative AI, a breakdown of what Gen AI is and why it's transforming industries. Then, key changes in AI since 2025. Explore the shift from content generation to fully autonomous systems. Next, we'll move on to the essential skills that you need, the core skills to develop, from programming to working with data. From there, the complete six-month plan, a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started and grow as a Gen AI engineer. We will also cover the real-world projects that you'll work on, where you get hands-on on projects like AI-powered customer support and multi-model tools. Then we will also see the emerging trends in Gen AI, what's next for the field, including trends in autonomous systems and running AI on devices. Lastly, the career path as a Gen AI engineer, we learn about the great job opportunities and the salary expectations in India and the US. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear path laid out to start off your journey as a generative AI engineer and know exactly how to build the skills and projects that will set you apart. Also, just a quick note, don't forget to check out the Applied Generative AI Specialization delivered by Simply Learn in partnership with the Purdue University which is in collaboration with top industry players, is your gateway to a successful career in the fast-evolving field of generative AI. This comprehensive program equips you with the skills needed to develop and deploy Gen AI-enabled applications covering key concepts like agentic AI, LLMs, RAG, Langchain, and more. Gain hands-on experience through 7-plus real-world projects and exposure to 12-plus industry standard tools. The program also includes Simply Learn's Job Assist Plus, ensuring that your resume stands out to leading tech companies. Upon completion, you will earn an elite certificate from Simply Learn and gain exclusive access to the Purdue University Alumni Association. Apply now and step into one of the most exciting and rapidly growing fields in tech. You can find the course link in the description below. Now, let's dive in and get you started on the path to become a Gen AI engineer. But before we move on, here is a quick quiz question. What is the primary skill needed to become a Gen AI engineer? Is it A, graphic design, B, Python programming, C, marketing, or D, content writing? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. We will now speak about what generative AI is. So generative AI isn't just a chatbot anymore. It is a type of artificial intelligence which creates things such as text, images, music, and even videos. But here's the how for 2026. If you want to go from being a user to an engineer, don't ask the model to generate text. Instead, master the inference process. Learn from a model that actually predicts what comes next, whether it's a word, an image, or a sound. Here's a little pro tip. Run models locally. Go to Hugging Face, download a small model like Llama 38B, and then try to run it on your own computer using Olama. It's a simple but powerful way to understand the model's inner workings beyond just using a built-in API. Bringing AI to your own hardware is the first step to becoming an engineer. We will now move on to what's changed in the world of AI. Let's talk about what's changed in AI over the past few years, from generative to agentic AI. Generative AI has revolutionized the content creation from the text generation to image creation and has paved way for creative automation. These systems generate high-quality content and visuals based on the data that they've been trained on, which is transforming industries like marketing, media, and design. On the other hand, agenetic AI goes beyond mere content generation. It focuses on autonomous problem solving where AI systems not only follow commands, but also learn to adapt on their own. 
They engage in goal-driven decision making, ensuring that they solve complex problems by understanding and analyzing situations without human intervention. For example, an agenetic AI could handle an entire customer service call, understanding the issue, determining the best solution and responding naturally, making intelligent decisions as it goes. This shift from reactive to proactive AI is opening new possibilities for more dynamic and independent AI systems. Here's a small pro tip. Learn tool calling. Instead of asking the AI to write a summary, build a system where the AI decides to search Google, read three articles, and then write the summary. Learn frameworks like Langraph or Crew AI. These tools allow you to build loops where AI checks its own work and fixes its mistakes before making decisions. Now we're talking about the real world challenge, which is production AI. This means building systems that can run continuously in the real world, handling huge amounts of data and never breaking down. Think about an AI system that can manage traffic lights in a city. It needs to process data from hundreds of cameras and sensors in real time to keep everything running smoothly. And it also runs reliably and efficiently in mission critical applications. That's production AI building systems that can work at scale constantly without any errors. Here's a small pro tip. Focus on latency and cost optimization. Learn how to use VLLM to serve your models 10 times faster. Being able to optimize performance is what sets you apart in the industry. Now we will move on to the key concepts that form the foundation of generative AI. Let's quickly cover some key concepts in generative AI that you need to understand. We will now cover the first key concept, which is transformers and attention mechanism. These are the backbone of modern Gen AI models like GPT and BERT. Think of transformers as helping AI understand a language better, not just by reading words one by one, but looking at the context of all the words together. Here's a small pro tip. Understand the attention mechanism. A deeper understanding of why the model behaves the way it does in certain situations is critical for debugging and improving the models. Experiment with simple models, like building a tiny transformer yourself to understand how attention really works. We will now move on to the next key concept, which is on GANs, also known as the Generative Adversarial Network. GANs are all about creating new content, like images or videos. Imagine an AI that creates an image of a cat so realistic that you can't tell that it's fake. How? By using two models. One that generates an image and the other which evaluates if it looks real or not. They work together constantly, improving the images till they are perfect. This is how GANs generate realistic content and it's an essential part of the generative AI. Here's a pro tip. Experiment with GANs by building small models yourself. It'll help you understand the competition between generator and discriminator and how they improve each other over time. It's hands-on learning at its best. For the next key concept, we have autoencoders and VAEs. Autoencoders are neural networks used to compress and reconstruct data, often for noise reduction or dimensionality reduction. They work by encoding the input into smaller representations and then decoding it back to reconstruct the original data. Here's a pro tip. Experiment with building simple autoencoders for tasks like image denoising, to see how they learn to retain important features while removing noise. Secondly, variational autoencoders. VAEs take the autoencoder concept further by introducing a probabilistic approach to generate new data. So instead of directly mapping the input data into compressed representations, they model the data distribution and create new samples similar to the training data. So here's a pro tip. Try building a simple VAE to generate new images. Understanding that the latent space of VAEs will help you gain deeper insights into data generation. We will now move on to the next concept, which is on prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is the art of crafting specific, effective instructions to guide AI models into generating the desired outputs. The goal is to ensure high quality and relevant responses from models like GPT and BERT. Here is a pro tip. Focus on clarity, precision and optimization when crafting prompts. The more specific and clear the prompt, the better the model's response. Experiment with different prompt variations to see what produces the most accurate results. Now that we have the key concepts, let's explore the role of a Gen AI engineer. Let's talk about what you'll actually be doing as a Gen AI engineer. So firstly, 
you get to work with messy real world data. AI doesn't always get perfect clean data. In fact, a large part of your job will be cleaning and preparing data so AI can learn from it properly. Think of it like cleaning the ingredients before you cook a great meal. Here's a small pro tip. Learn data wrangling techniques using Python libraries, pandas and numpy. Let's now look at the skills that you need to succeed in this role and that is by building end-to-end -end AI systems. As a Gen AI engineer, you'll be designing AI systems which can go from concept to deployment. Your job is to ensure that the system works in real-world situations. For example, you might build a chatbot that not only answers questions but can understand complex customer queries and help solve problems. Here's a little pro tip. Design with scalability in mind. Think about the future growth of your system. How can you handle more data? How will your system perform when it's under the real-world load? These are the key engineering questions that you will be needing to answer. We will now move on to monitoring and improvement. As a Gen AI engineer, your job doesn't end once the system is deployed. Continuous monitoring and improvement are crucial to ensure that your AI system remains efficient and effective over time. You will need to track performance, detect any issues, and make adjustments as necessary. For example, if your model's accuracy drops, you might need to retain it with updated data or tweak the underlying algorithms. Here's a pro tip. Implement robust monitoring tools like Prometheus or Grafana to track system performance. Regularly review logs, model drift, and feedback loops to identify areas for improvement. Continuous optimization should be a part of your process to keep systems up to date. And lastly, we have make strategic architecture decisions. You will be responsible for structuring your AI system, ensuring that it's scalable so it can grow as the company needs more data and reliable in the real world production. Here's a small pro tip. Use cloud native services like AWS or Azure for scalability. Leverage managed services that allow you to scale easily without reinventing the wheel. With that being said, let's move on to the next section. So the skills you need. To succeed as a Gen AI engineer, here are the essential skills that you will need. Firstly, there's Python, which is the language of AI. Secondly, there's machine learning to help AI learn from data. Thirdly, there's deep learning for more advanced AI models. And lastly, there's prompt engineering to guide AI into creating better results. Here's a small pro tip. Start building real world projects as you learn these skills. Whether it's a small chatbot or a recommendation system, hands on practice is key to mastering these tools. Let's break down your six month plan to become a Gen AI engineer. We'll go through it step by step. So, for the first phase, we have Python foundations. In the first month, you'll get comfortable with Python, the primary programming language used in AI development. You will master the Python syntax, variables, and data structures, which include lists, tuples, dictionaries, and sets. Libraries like NumPy and Pandas will be essential for handling and processing data. So here's a pro tip. Learn to write clean, reusable code and save them later in phases. For the next phase, we have machine learning fundamentals. Here, you'll dive into the core concepts of machine learning, including linear regression, decision trees, and clustering. You will work with real-world data sets and start using algorithms that power AI models. So here's the pro tip. Understand the math behind algorithms like statistics and probability to fine-tuning models for better accuracy. We will now move on to the next phase, which is phase three, deep learning and neural networks. Next, you will be diving into deep learning, the technology behind things like image recognition and voice assistance. You will learn about neural networks and how to use tools like TensorFlow to build AI that can learn from data. Here's a small pro tip. Focus on the theory first and then go hands-on. Understanding the mathematical foundation of deep learning will give you an edge on optimizing models. We will now move on to the next phase, which is on LLMs, systems, prompting, and APIs. In this phase, you'll dive into generative AI models like GPT and BERT. You learn how to build and deploy AI systems using APIs and prompting techniques. So here's a pro tip. Focus on understanding how different models interact with data and how to optimize prompts for better responses. Going further, for the next phase, we have production rag and agents. Here, you'll get to scale your models using cloud platforms like AWS and Azure. You'll also get hands-on with rag which is retrieval augmented generation and AI agents for production level applications. So here's a pro tip. 
mastering cloud platforms and deploying tools will allow you to scale models efficiently and integrate them into the real world applications. For the final phase, we have multimodal AI and emerging trends. In this phase, you will explore multimodal AI, which analyzes both texts and images. You'll also learn about latest trends in AI, such as AI powered vision systems and cross model learning. For the pro tip, multimodal AI is a growing field with applications in various industries. So mastering it will open doors to new exciting projects and opportunities. Let us now move on to the real world projects that will help you build your portfolio. As a part of your learning, you will work on real world projects such as RAG-based document QA system. This project will teach you on how to build a system that answers questions from documents using retrieval argumented generation, which is also called RAG. It's perfect for learning how to build AI systems that retrieve and generate answers from large data sets. Secondly, we have Intelligent Customer Support Agent. Here, you'll create an AI-powered customer support system. Think of it as building an intelligent chatbot that can answer customer queries in real time. Lastly, we have Multimodal Content Analysis Tool. In this project, you'll create a tool that can analyze both texts and images, allowing you to understand content more deeply. We will now speak about the emerging trends in AI. Let's talk about the coolest part here, agentic AI. Imagine AI that doesn't just respond to commands, it thinks and makes decisions on its own. This is the next step in AI revolution where machines are capable of reasoning and solving complex problems independently. Next, we have on-device AI. AI running directly on your phone or laptop for faster, more private applications. No need for cloud processing. Everything happens locally, making it faster and more secure. Lastly, we have AI safety and alignment. As AI gets smarter, ensuring that it works ethically and aligns with human goals is crucial. This trend is all about making sure that AI systems don't just do what they're told to do, but in a way that it benefits the society. To wrap up, let's discuss your career path after becoming a Gen AI engineer. Once you master the basics, let's talk about your career path as a Gen AI engineer. So for year one, genderless Gen AI engineer. In your first year, you will work on a variety of projects and build your foundational skills. You will earn around 8 to 12 LPA, which is close to fifty to $70,000. Moving on to year two, specialization paths. After a year, you'll likely specialize in areas like LLM ops, AI architecture, or prompt engineering. Salaries in these roles can range from rupees 15 to 25 LPA, which is close to 90 to $150,000. By year three, principal staff engineer roles. So by year three, you could move on into leadership roles or focus on AI product engineering. At this level, salaries can reach rupees 30 LPA plus or $200,000 plus in the US. So in conclusion, this is your roadmap to becoming a Gen AI engineer in 2026. Whether you're just starting or looking to level up, these steps, skills, and projects will set you on the right path. Gen AI is the future, and it's time to be a part of the revolution. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video useful. And for more detailed learning, explore Simply Learn's courses and certifications to enhance your skills. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next one.